Go. Good morning. D today we're making matzo rye. Okay, I grew up in my family. We call it fried matzah, and my grandmother made it for me every time I went to visit, and it was her favorite and my favorite. Little did I know how easy it was. Now I make it all the time. So here it is. All you need: three sheets of matzah, some water. For this batch, two eggs and one or two pats of butter. First step, crumble the matzah in the water, just to get it a little soft, not too mushy, but just a little soft. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the stove, you're gonna heat the stove, you're gonna put some Pam in it or some butter in it, add the butter if you haven't already put it in already, and in about three minutes on medium to high heat, you're gonna add two eggs, your matzah, you're gonna stir it all together, and look, you're gonna have fried matzah or matzah rye. Now here's where it gets controversial. You're gonna to have to make an important decision. In my family, we have a very sharp division between the people who want salt on it, that's me, and the rest of my family, because there are people who want, what is it, Mark? Sugar. They're all about the sugar. So they put sugar on their fried matzo. Yay! I think that's a more popular opinion, but I'm going with the salt. Sometimes they even put pepper on it. Boo. You can also put some, even if you are a salt or a sugar person, either way, you could add a little vanilla while you're making the matzo rye. Yay! You could put a little cinnamon in if that's to your liking. Yay! More commentary, okay. And then, what do you do? You put it in a bowl. have a wonderful breakfast. So enjoy.